Welcome to another episode of Holy FaceTime. Today is Monday, October 28th, and a very happy feast day of Saints Simon and Jude to one and all. So today I'll be sharing with you the revelation of our Lord Jesus to Sister Marie de St. Pierre for this feast day. And uh, this revelation is from 179 years ago, and it really showcases beautifully the virtue of Sister St. Pierre. During evening prayer on the Feast of the Holy Apostles, St. Simon and Jude, our Lord condescended to abase himself towards my ungrateful soul by revealing himself to me. Since I had some difficulty in persuading myself that our Lord had actually presented me, who am so unworthy with the precious gift of his holy face, I begged him to grant me a visible proof of the invisible grace, which I believed I had received from his mercy the previous day. So please see our video from yesterday, Sunday, October 27th, for the reading of the revelation that she refers to. Having chosen as the subject of my meditation the betrayal of our Lord by Judas, I was reflecting with sadness on the shame inflicted on the holy face of our Savior by the perfidious kiss of his disciple. When it seems to me, our Lord invited me to kiss most lovingly the image of his holy face in a spirit of reparation. So dear friends, we can do the same thing. Uh, the first moments that we arise out of bed, we can kiss our image of his holy face and in those last few moments before we retire for the evening, we can do the same to make reparation for that horrible kiss that Judas gave to our Lord Jesus. Having made several acts of love, I felt that our Lord was drawing me to himself and obeying the touch of grace. I saw that this divine savior intended to instruct me on the value of the gift he had bestowed on me when he presented me with his holy face. Having the kindness to adapt himself to the scant powers of my poor understanding, our Savior suggested the following simple comparison to me. Just as in an earthly kingdom, he stated, money which is stamped with the picture of the sovereign or ruling executive of the country procures whatever one desires to purchase so likewise in the kingdom of heaven you shall obtain all that you desire by offering the coin of my precious humanity which is my adorable face so this is one of the promises of the holy face devotion these divine revelations which i am forced to express in language all too feeble to convey the meaning of what i understood have placed me beside myself with joy since, moreover, I experienced within me a sublime transformation, impossible to describe, I begged our Lord to instruct me and to make somewhat more intelligible to my meager understanding that which I then felt. For even the faculties of my soul seemed to be suspended. Thereupon, our Lord willed that I should momentarily be transported in spirit to consider a certain piece of land adjoining the convent for which our prioress had previously told me to pray to our Lord, bidding me to ask him for it. Presently, it seemed to me that the divine savior was beckoning me to purchase this land by offering the holy face. And he further assured me saying that before another year would elapse, our community would be in possession of this land, adding that I should not in the meantime worry as to how this would be brought about. So just a, a bit of reflection on this revelation for you. Sister Marie de St. Pierre shows us by example what our disposition should be before the Lord, especially before we, we receive him in the most blessed sacrament of the altar and during our holy hours. In both these sublime opportunities, his holy face is veiled to us, but oh so present. 
as the sacred humanity is united to his divinity. Sister St. Pierre, in her humility, acknowledges that her soul is ungrateful, that she is unworthy, that she has scant powers of poor and meager understanding. It is these dispositions which draw forth our Lord's mercy upon our souls and his kindness to adapt and to reveal himself to our imperfect knowledge of him and his mysteries. The promise that our Lord Jesus reveals to Sister St. Pierre and likewise directed to us holy face devotees that we shall obtain all that we desire by offering the coin of his precious humanity which is his adorable face. This reminds me of the prayer, the offering of the holy face of Jesus to God the Father to appease his justice and draw down mercy upon us. And we'll reference this prayer in the show notes. The key promise from this prayer that we can procure the sediment of all the affairs of our household and that nothing whatsoever will be refused to us is manifested in the closing paragraph of today's revelation in which our divine savior was beckoning sister saint pierre to purchase the land that the convent of tours needed through the offering of his holy face and not to worry as to how this would come about wow <laughs> we should confidently take our cues from sister saint pierre to abase ourselves before the lord in deep faith when we present our needs to him through the offering of his holy face to God the Father. In the words of Mary Healy, a professor at Sacred Heart Seminary in Detroit, in regards to the meditation for the readings of yesterday's Mass, and, we, and, um, and also in regards to the physical and spiritual healing of blind Bartimaeus, um, so I quote, this is what Mary Healy said, his sight was restored, but even more, the eyes of his heart were enlightened. And through faith, we are enabled to truly see what is invisible. We begin to understand realities of the kingdom that we could not understand before. And we gladly set out with Jesus on the way, the way that sometimes leads to the cross, but ultimately to the resurrection." End quote. So, dear friends, the most important disposition is to align our will, small w, with the Lord's will, big W, in regards to what we ask of him, being content that however he answers is for the sanctification of both ours and our loved ones' immortal souls and physical bodies, according to his perfect timing, and always with the littleness and humility, which Sister St. Pierre exemplifies so well. And so until next time, oh, actually my husband <laughs> is just interjecting here with something very precious. So um, there's a partial indulgence actually offered for each time a member of the Holy Face Confraternity kisses the effigy of the Holy Face repeating the invocation, Lord, show us thy face and we shall be saved. This is incredible. Thank you, honey. <laughs> These special indulgences that are available, available for us um, under the usual conditions of receiving Holy Communion and uh, going to confession and praying for the intentions, the holy intentions of, of our Pope. And... Um, yeah, doing that within, I think it's 21 days now for, for an indulgence. And so correct me if, if somebody has um, more uh, accurate information. So anyways, that was wonderful. Little introduction. So until next time, blessed be our Lord's holy face and blessed be the holy and admirable name of our God. God bless you all.